So dear God, it is with a heavy heart that I write to you a letter so strange. One, I begin by thanking you that today I was nowhere within church range. I know that the scripture said to not abandon the gathering of the brothers, but man, I'm thankful that today I had a hindrance. Mm. Dear God, my heart is on a race filled by a million and one things raining in this place I call home. I'm begging it to stop. Instead, it pumps fear in beats per seconds. Forgive me for knowing that I have not received the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. But what causes through me is cold, dried, and drained of oxygen. The commandments say to love your neighbor, but God, I wake up and say this my neighbor, and I say, nowhere is safe. I do not remember what love is. I'm confused about the spirit of power because I've seen how it corrupts people. I've seen trigger happy cycles go on a shooting spree without a cause. God, even John Wick had to be provoked first. <laughs> Dear God, in this insane place I call home, I've seen insane things on sounding my sound mind. How do you defend a God that defends all? For how can you burn down the masterpiece of the great artist as an act of respect to the great artist while proclaiming that he is the greatest artist ever? How do you utterly disfigure the grand piece of a great designer in a bid to be commended by the grand designer while hailing his greatness? How do you tear down a grand building of the great engineer and, dear God, this place I call home daily snows the breath out of us. My mother once said, Daughter, Nigeria is no more a place for the I want to be happy, merely a place for I want to live. But God, stars went out at Lekki Toll Gate. They wanted to live too. Dear God, I want to tell you to pay this unknown man back, pound for pound, flesh for flesh, life for life, if for nothing. For the sake of that little kid whose brutally battered, bloodied body still haunts the gallery in my head. I'm sorry, but I can't pray. Forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. God, nobody mistakenly falls into mass murders. You don't want the death of a sinner, and I get that. But I want them dead. Now, and in the afterlife, you are merciful and kind and just and loving, but do not tamper this justice with mercy. Rain them peace upon our land healing in our hearts and dear god rain down judgment <laughs>